Hi everybody, I'm so glad to see you again. Since we're heading into testing, I'm going to feature some quick picks in this video, and then I'm going to have some great testing tips from a few of my friends. Stay tuned! Code Orange is a thriller about a high school student conducting research for a school paper on smallpox. While going through some old medical books, he finds an envelope containing 100-year-old smallpox scabs and fears that he has infected himself and possibly all of New York City. Behind the Gates is the first book in the Tomorrow Girls series. It takes place in a terrifying future world where four girls must depend on each other if they want to survive. Book one takes place at the Country Manor School, a remote boarding school in an unknown location where the girls are cut off from phones, mail, TV, and the internet. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because just the thought of being cut off from the internet is too scary for me. This is a great adventure series which won't overly strain your brain. The Complete History of Why I Hate Her. I think the title says it all, ladies and gentlemen. Picture the Dead is the perfect book for somebody who has read and enjoyed the Miss Peregrine Home for Peculiar Children series. In Picture the Dead, a young woman communicates with her brother, who died in 1864, in order to find out what happened to her fiancé, whom the army said died in battle. With the help of a spiritualist photographer and the spirit of Will, her late brother, she tries to piece together the mystery of what happened. This book is filled with creepy photographs, just like the Miss Peregrine series. I hope you'll enjoy it. So, imagine that your 16-year-old half-brother, whom you haven't seen in 10 years, decides to come back to live with you but turns out to be eight feet tall and has size 22 feet. This is what happens to 13-year-old Andy when her long-lost half-brother Bernardo returns to live with her in London. Tall Story is a unique book. It's funny, sad, and magical. And it's perfectly named. Yo, Prince Puffy here. Got some great tips for succeeding during testing during the next few weeks. Listen up to some messages from some close friends of mine who really wish they had hair as gorgeous as the Puffsters. Get enough sleep every night, not just the night before the test. Your brain and body need sleep to function well, so don't stay up late. Your memory will be much better if you've had enough rest. Did you know that you think better when you have a full stomach? So don't skip breakfast. Eat a healthy meal and drink plenty of fluids so that your brain will be turned on and ready to go. Get up a little bit earlier and try to arrive at school and in class a little ahead of time so that you will not feel rushed. Feeling rushed can make you nervous. Before you leave the house in the morning, make sure that you've packed some number two pencils if you're taking a paper and pencil test. Being prepared will boost your confidence. Don't get caught up in negative talk with other students before the test. Stress can be contagious. Eliminate negative thoughts by replacing them with a positive affirmation like, I am so ready for the test and I'm going to do great. Or, I am smart. I can do this thing. Use the bathroom before the test begins. This is just common sense and keeps you from disturbing other students later on. Be comfortable, but alert. Don't slouch like these people. Maintain good posture. 
Give your hands a rest when they need it. Stretch quietly in your desk without bothering other people. Don't let a tricky problem throw you off balance. Don't get worried or frustrated. Reread the question to make sure you understand it, and then try to solve it the best way you know how. If you have no idea about the answer, review your options and make the best choice you can. Totally ignore students who finish the test before you. Research shows that students who finish early usually don't score as well as those who take more time. Well, I hope you found those test-taking tips useful, and I know you're going to do a great job in the coming weeks. Please remember that there's lots of time left to read this year, so don't forget to come to the library and get a new book. And if you owe us a book or some money, it's time now to get that taken care of. Please thank your teacher for showing this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to be awesome. Bye-bye.